This is what's ahead for the Yankees. First to three against Baltimore on Friday. Back in the Bronx, it'll be a battle of lefties. Nestor Cortez going for the Yanks against John Means, who, despite his record, five and six, was a really good ERA. Three and a half in the American League is nothing to sneeze at. For Nestor Cortez, an even better ERA. Jack coming off a loss, but... He only gave up three runs to the A's, so he has still been very steady. He's been reliable for the Yankees. He's been a lifesaver, actually. If you look at the Yankees starters this season, Severino and Herman are still trying to work their way back. Schmidt trying to work his way back. Herman has struggled. I'm sorry, uh, Davey Garcia has struggled at the AAA level. Who would have picked Cortez at the start of the season to make so many starts for the Yankees and to be such a steadying influence in the rotation? He goes out there with different arm angles different variety of pitches and the word that David Cohn uses to describe him is the word I'm going to steal he's fearless he's added some velocity to his fastball he absolutely believes that he belongs at the major league level he needs to perform well on Friday but so do the Yankees there's no fooling around they can't say this publicly but it's easy for us to say it they've got to sweep the Orioles they're eight and five against them this year the Orioles are a team that is going nowhere more than 40 games out of first place you look at the difference between the Yankees and the Rays one area that you can point is the way they performed against the Orioles the Rays already finished with them this year they were 18 and 1 and by the way if you're looking at that scoreboard now and some of the players are starting to do that as we've turned the page to September you see that you won you also see the Rays lost they were about to win their 10th game tonight and they did their 10th in a row and they didn't so suddenly at least for a night you're saying okay they're human they can lose. Now let's see what happens the rest of the way. The baseball season is very long, but things can change very quickly. The Yankees lost four games in four days because they lost four and the Rays won four. So that could turn around very quickly. Quickly, Take advantage of the soft spots in your schedule. And this is one that is looming against the Orioles. The Yankees didn't do that in Anaheim. They're fortunate that Cole pitched so well tonight and they were able to salvage the final game of the series. But those first two games against the Angels, they let opportunities slip away. Can't do that at home. Can't do that against the lowly Orioles. All right.